All right, here we are at the gate, ready for push and start. Got ourselves all loaded up. Checklists are complete. We are on the APU. Ground power's been pulled. Make sure you've done that before you come into your pushback menu as when you drop the chalks or select a tug, uh, it's going to drop the ground power. So you don't want to have the embarrassment of having the power, lost the power. So make sure that you're on the APU before you do this. We are in uh, Chicago here. We're going to go out to 3 1 center. So let's take a peek. What we want to do is head over that direction. And so we're going to do a nose to the right and push and start. So we're going to get into this here. Go uh, standard L, nose to the right, 90 degrees. Got our tug. Go ahead and start. Captain's going to use nose number 268. It's ready for pushback. Talking the ground crew. He's going to let him know, you know, A's are off, B's are on, all the uh, door lights are out. FO's going to throw that anti collision switch on. Get a call from ground or ramp. Get push approved. Once push is approved, ground crew says release your brake. We'll go ahead and release the brake. And they'll go ahead and start pushing us here. Now we we're going to get a clearance from the ground crew to go ahead and start the engines once everything behind us is clear and it's safe to do so. FO is going to bring both packs off. Isolation valve can either stay open or in auto. Start number two engine first. Bring the engine start switch to the ground position. And watch what happens. So we've got three call outs. We got oil pressure, light off, and roll back. And so here's our first call out. We, now that we've got oil pressure, we would say oil pressure. With N2 above, minimum of 20%. Got a little rotation on the fan. Make sure it's not froze up, locked up for whatever reason. Bring the number two start switch to idle. And our second call out, light off. Once you see a rise in EGT. Now your FO is going to keep his hand on that engine start lever at all times, just in case we were to have a hot start, hung start. Uh, hot start would be, you know, this EGT is rapidly rising towards this little red uh, mark here, which is 725 degrees. We don't want that to happen. If that was to happen, we'd immediately cut off the engine, run the checklist, and uh, get towed back into the gate, have maintenance come out. Probably end up grounding the airplane if it was to actually hot start. Um, we'd still do all that for even... Uh, an aborted engine start. We'd want to call maintenance and have them come take a look at it. Red tick went away. Roll back. All right, we got one good engine there. And these guys just want to push, push, push today. We'll go ahead and stop them. And release the tug. All right, once we've got one good engine, what we're going to do is isolate and ventilate. And we'll take a closer look at what's going on here. The reason we isolate and ventilate is we want to isolate the APU bleed air from the right side of the system. So you can see with the isolation valve closed, the APU bleed air can only go up here to the left-hand pack and no further. So we've isolated the APU and the left side of the system from the right side of the system. So now we can power the right hand pack in either auto or high if it was a hot day off the right hand engine. The left hand side now, as I said, is isolated so we can do our, our number one engine start. So let's do that. Same three call outs. Oil pressure, light off, roll back. Oil pressure. Light off.
roll back. That essentially completes the engine start. And uh, we'll do another video for your after start flow. Hope that helps.